Hi, I'm Mark Bender with Manfrotto Distribution, coming to you from Los Angeles, California. I'm here today to introduce you to the Genus Hurricane 3D Rig. And now I'm going to show you how to assemble the Hurricane 3D Rig. The assembly is actually the magic of the Hurricane. It can literally go from your carrying case to fully deployed in about 15 minutes. The first step in the assembly of the Hurricane 3D Rig is to attach your main chassis to the tripod. Now what I recommend for you, take the default quick release plate of whatever your tripod head is and pre-attach that. Leave it attached right in your case. Then what we'll do is we'll merely slide this on. This will enable us to just slide this right on to whatever tripod head you're using. So I come back here, release and open. There, once we get our chassis mounted on the tripod, just go ahead and lock your tripod head so that you won't slide and you've got a secure position for the rest of the procedure. The next step is we're going to mount the vertical camera support, which is this second module. You can see the differences, the rails are much shorter than on the main chassis, so it's pretty easy to identify. And prior to this, you'll notice that you can't do anything, okay? The reason is there is the joining chassis, okay? And this is pretty easy to align. If you remember, there is a serial number on each Genus rig. And what you want is you want that serial number to be facing you when it is all done. Now, you'll notice that you folks can see the serial number. What you want to make sure as you're assembling your rig, that you as camera operator turn that so that now I can see, you can see as camera operator, that serial number. And you'll notice there's another Genus logo that your talent can see. At that point, you are in the proper configuration and you merely slide the bracket right onto the rails just like that. Okay? And generally what I do is I leave about a half inch or so. You can go to the end depending on what your actual final camera rig will, will require, but you can leave about a half inch or so of the rails showing. At this point, take your hex tool that comes with the unit you can use any hex tool, and there is a um, little hex screw right adjacent to each uh, rail. And all we're going to do is we're just going to tighten them up. And I'm just going to come back. What I do is I, uh, I don't tighten you know, the first one all the way. What I do is I kind of cinch them up as I just did there so it fits a little, fits a little easier. This is the vertical mount. And this holds the, one of the cameras in a vertical position pointed up at our beam splitter. To mount this properly and safely, what I recommend is that you'll notice that the shafts have a set screw screwed into the ends. And what I like to do, instead of putting the set screw on the same ends, I flip the end of the set screw so that the opposite end of each rod has the set screw rather than both having the top or both having the bottom. And I'm going to show you how that provides you some safety in a moment. Now, as you'll notice, um, I've mounted my rods, as I've said, one set screw at the top, one set screw at the bottom. They merely, you merely loosen your rods with the, with the locking uh, levers that are shown. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the top one out, the one that has the set screw in the top uh, rod. And I'm going to come over here to my chassis, and you'll notice that um, there's two sets of holes. I'm going to use the one on the, the starting with the right hole, just like that. And then I'm going to take this one that I had the, the set screw in the top, and I'm going to drop it down, just like that. And you'll notice that when I drop this, it stops, okay? And what I'm going to do with this, then, is I'm going to lock my chassis right with that one, just like that. And now I can let go. And even though, this isn't, even though these aren't locked in yet, I'm safe. Okay? Not a problem. 
Now, I want to lock my rods in, of course. So I'm going to take my hex tool and I'm going to use the uh, screws provided that are already built into the chassis and I'm just going to tighten them up. Uh, just, you know, just make them nice and snug. Now I'm going to go over to the second hole and we're going to tighten up the second hole using the same procedure. Just want to cinch it up and we're set. And now our, what we call our vertical camera mount, secondary camera mount is locked and ready to go. So the next step is we're going to attach what's commonly called the mirror box or beam splitter. This is our mirror box. And you may be saying, well, it doesn't look like a mirror box because it's encased in wood. Well, this is the way your mirror box or beam splitter assembly should travel. It's encased in these two uh, pieces of fiberboard. And that prevents any impact from having any negative consequences on your beam splitter glass and optics itself. So you'll notice that there are some little screws. There's four of them, four silver screws. We need to take those off to get to our beam splitter. So you take a simple Phillips screwdriver and you merely unscrew them. Very easy to do. And again, this is part of your procedure both for pack up, you enclose it with the boards, and for deploying, you undo the boards. And I usually have a little baggie to keep my screws in when I travel. Flip it around and you'll see the other two screws. Just like this. And here's the first board. Again, you can put that right back in your case. On the other side, there is still a gold screw. That gold screw is actually part of our tilter adjustment. So what I'm doing, just by holding with my thumb, I'm holding the board and the unit. And take the gold screw out. And then we can now take the uh, mirror box assembly beam splitter assembly, and we're ready to install it on the chassis itself. Okay, we've got our mirror box beam splitter attached to our main frame. I'm going to tighten each side, and we're ready to go on to our next step. In this next step, I'm going to show you how to mount the hood enclosure of the beam splitter. First thing you'll notice is that there are four black knobbed screws. I usually store them in the frame themselves when I travel so that I can immediately place where they belong and that I can immediately keep track of them. What we're going to do now to, to put on the hood is you've got to remove them, each one. Just like that. This is our hood, and as you can see, it's got some flanges, hinged flanges. And what you want to make sure is, is that you flip the flanges and flip your hood over so that you can see that it all goes together and stops against the flanges. You've got this, some rivets up here and a cutout up here, and then you know you have it oriented in the proper way. You hold your hood with this hand, and you just walk it over to your, uh, mirror, to your mirror beam splitter and you lower your back of your hood so that both the top hole and the bottom hole are pretty close to getting engaged. You can see this little lip hangs over the frame and then what you do is you take one of your screws and just start the process just like that. Lay it down. Then grab another screw. You can either go over to the other side, whatever is easier for you, and um, just start inserting the screw. And you go over to the other side. Like 
and just repeat the process. Just line up your hole with the other with the hole of the chassis. Just like that. And we got one more to go. And you just tighten her up and your mirror box is almost complete. We have one more little thing to add. And that is, remember that gold screw we took out before? This is actually what we call our optical vertical adjustment. And that's gonna go in the top screw hole that was in that little cutout before that you saw uh, in the hood. That lets me screw the, the gold screw in, the brass screw here. Just cinch it up because you're gonna make a fine adjustment later. That's it. This completes the assembly of your beam splitter mirror box. The hood and everything's ready to go. We only have one more step. Now, you are sent, this is called a beam splitter box baffle. For more information, please visit our website at www.digitalcinemacourse.com. That was the Genesis Hurricane 3D Rig. Thanks for watching the Digital Cinema Course.